everyone! Today, I thought I'd share with you what I eat in the day while I'm 20 weeks pregnant! <laughs> if you don't know anything about me, my name is Ivory. I'm 33 years old, living in the Philippines. I'm an owner of a local bake shop, cookie shop, here in Manila. And since, you know, I have nothing to do, like I think all of us are at the moment, I'm stuck at home. Uh, working from home, I make all my meals and I try my best to still eat a healthy, balanced diet. Especially now that I'm 20 weeks pregnant, I am very conscious about the things that I eat, especially adding some fresh fruits and vegetables into my diet. Before I got pregnant, I've been kind of eating this way already and I cook all of my meals for myself and my husband. So definitely keep on watching if you want to incorporate these meals also into your diet. For today's green smoothie, I'm going to be using kale as the main base. So here I'm going to start washing the greens carefully with water and some ionized water called Korean water. I'll be linking it down below to see where you can buy it. I love making green smoothies in the morning because you can pack in a lot of nutrients in just one drink. So in my blender cup, I'm going to be putting my frozen fruit, uh, frozen mango, and frozen banana. My rule is when making smoothies is that I make sure that one-fourth of the cup will be fruit and the rest will be greens just so that it won't be too sweet. I also added a little bit of water, add some ice, and my moringa powder or malunggay powder, and I'll blend it up until smooth. If your blender is having a hard time, make sure to just add a little bit more liquid, but not too much so it won't be too runny. don't have kale, you can definitely use spinach or pet chai or romaine lettuce to your green smoothie. So here I just moved it to a glass and added some chia seeds on top for a bit of texture and crunch. For lunch today, I'll be making a red rice bowl. So it's going to be a bowl of red rice with uh, protein and some steamed vegetables. For my vegetables today, I'll be using broccoli and French beans. Alternatively, you can also just saute the vegetables with a little bit of olive oil and maybe garlic powder and then you're good to go. But today I'll be steaming them just so that it's easier for me. For my protein today, I'll be making sauteed ground beef. Uh, it's going to be Korean style or Chinese style. Here I am cutting up some onions, garlic, and grated ginger. So I start off with a pan with some olive oil. I soften the garlic, onions, and ginger. Once that's done, I add my ground beef and saute it until it's brown. I also added some canned mushrooms since I had some leftover in the wrap. Toss it around until it's brown and no more red meat is seen. I added some low sodium soy sauce and a teaspoon of hoisin sauce for a little bit of sweetness. Don't forget to season the meat with salt and pepper according to your taste. Now 
we're ready to serve. So in a bowl, I'll be putting red rice. I usually just put around two spoonfuls of rice and then I add more vegetables and protein. I think adding it all up in one bowl makes it easier to eat and also you don't have to wash a lot of dishes. Recently, I've been so obsessed with kimchi, so I like to have it on the side just so that I can have a little bit of good fermented kimchi. For dessert, I'll be having some red cherries. They are so good. For dinner today, I'll be making crispy tofu. Here, I'm using firm tofu. I'll be just cutting them into small cubes and we'll be cooking it in the oven. Pat your tofu with a paper towel to remove excess moisture. Drizzle some olive oil and sprinkle some cornstarch to make it a little crisp Season with salt and pepper and bake in a 400 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until it's golden brown. While the tofu is baking, I'm going to make a simple peanut sauce with soy sauce, some peanut butter, a little bit of honey or brown sugar. Mix it all together until combined. You can also add water to thin it out. I paired the tofu with our food earlier for lunch, which is ground beef, and added some kale to make it more nutritious. So we're ready to eat! Dessert, I'll be having some oranges and cherries again. 